do have some new things. Uh, they're very much geared towards uh, agriculture. Uh, this year we're going to do three in particular that are new. Uh, one of them is called Let's Talk Livestock. Um, and this kind of expands the fair's mission, uh, you know, uh, in, in terms of serving as kind of an agricultural classroom, you know, an opportunity for folks maybe not as involved in agriculture as, as most of us are in one way or another, uh, to come out to the fair, learn a little bit about what, uh, especially what the 4-H and, and FFA kids are doing, their projects, whether it's a, you know, a static uh, exhibit or it's a, it's a steer in the steer show or a swine over at the swine barn or whatever. So we're going to do that. And then we're also going to this year honor uh, the folks that are educating them out there. Uh, through their classroom. And uh, so we're going to be uh, focusing on our 4-H uh, instructors, our, our um, uh, FFA advisors, and anybody that's involved with uh, educating these kids with their projects in the classroom and things like that. Uh, probably a lot of times unsung heroes, we, you know, people don't really realize the time and effort uh, that goes into to working with these kids. It's not just during the class during the day. They're at these kids' farms, at, you know, in the evenings, on the weekends, and working with them. So we're going we're gonna to honor those folks this year, uh, make a big deal out of that, so it would be a lot of fun. Uh, one of the things that we are going to do this year uh, kind of ties into something that we've always done, which is uh, celebrate our farm families. Uh, currently and in the past uh, quite a few years, we've done that on the Monday of the fair with our farm family day. And the county extensions agencies are, are allowed to turn in the name of the farm family uh, that's selected from their county uh, for that year. And then we honor them on that Monday over at the director's tent, have a big dinner and award ceremony, take a lot of pictures. And it's always a lot of fun. Um, but this year we're, we have a new exhibit that's going to be permanent on the fairgrounds. It'll be right across the street from the pork producers building. Um, the uh, WB Young Company in Marshall, Missouri sponsored the event and did all the, the laser cutting of the metal sign. It's really, really neat. Uh, and each year there will be a permanent sign that stays there year round, but each year we'll be able to change the names of the, of the county winners uh, and they'll be on exhibit throughout the year. So something that we haven't been able to do in the past, you know, it's kind of a one day thing and then they go home and, you know, three days later, you can't remember who all the families were this year. They're going to be on exhibit for the entire year. So chance to honor those folks uh, a little longer than just one day. Well, we've had our certainly share this uh, last May and June in the ag community and a lot of us at farm. Uh, uh, it's been very challenging. We hope uh, a lot of this is over with by the time August 13th rolls around. But, uh, you know, regardless, we know uh, we'll have a good farm crowd there, and it's a it's an opportunity for not only farmers but urban people to, uh, to get together to enjoy the best Missouri has to offer in agriculture, and uh, it's just a fun event, and we certainly hope everybody plans to attend again this year. Well, this weather will get straightened out. Um, you know, we're looking forward to you know 11 days in, in the, during uh, the month of August for the state fair where it's uh, 85 during the day and 65 at night and you know a little shower about two in the morning's great and looking looking really good and, and and ticket sales have been good so looks like a lot of folks are planning on coming to the fair August 13th through the 23rd show offs welcome for Brownfield TV I'm Julie Harker